welcome back to my channel it's me and the explorer and for today i'm going to have another reaction video actually this video is very important or very informative to all of us very interesting because this can help us to survive in any rare situation like danger situation so let's check these 11 tips for survival in case we are in danger let's watch this guys it's a very interesting topic my bright side eleven easy tips that will save you in critical situations the title says it an eleven easy tips that will save you in critical situations so what are these eleven steps that we will always bear in our mind if we are in danger guys let's continue guys There's hardly anyone who'd want to find themselves in a dark alley with a strange person chasing them or get a flat tire mm. in the middle of nowhere. Okay. What would you do if they have to listen? Grabbed you by force and took you to their car. What if you didn't have a spare tire and the nearest service station is actually many miles away? That's why knowing some useful pieces of advice for different life situations can be really helpful. In today's video, we've prepared several ideas that can help you get out of a dangerous situation. Grab your pen and paper. Grab your pen and paper and listen. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell. Now you won't miss any of the important updates coming daily from the bright side of life. Let's begin with number, number one. one. If somebody is trying to take you away by force, lose some personal belongings on the spot. Okay. If you are being pushed into a car, try to accidentally drop as many personal belongings as possible. But remember that it's better to keep your cell phone with you. This could help the police find you faster. If you're lucky and extreme. So guys, if somebody grab you in the dark, this tip will help you in order for you to be located and search right away. So you lose the things a little bit in the street or something, or it's like a marker so that they will know who really you are. And please save your cell phone guys because if you do that cell phone can save your life let's continue guys only strong and agile you might be able to struggle free and run away from your kidnapper well unless they have a mm. gun or someone is with them make your resistance more forceful while dropping personal items so that you can leave evidence right at the spot where you were taken number two if you're in an elevator with a criminal, press oh. the buttons for every floor. This will give you a chance to run away or signal someone. It can also baffle the criminal and make you look like a lunatic. Kidding aside, this trick can help you get away from a criminal if you feel like... Guys, remember this is a trick. Is off when you're inside the elevator. Guys, this is a, this, a trick, guys, in order for you to ask for help. So you press all this button so that... The criminals have still the time or you still have a time to ask for help, guys. To go to signal or ask for help in case of this emergency situation, guys. So, thank you so much for giving us this uh, information, Brightside. I'm so happy so I can share it to the public, to the, to the viewers here. So, it's a very good and must-see video, guys. Please continue. That if there are several other people with you in the elevator, they might think you're pulling a prank. Use this yeah. wisely and only when truly needed. Number three, how to understand oh, when how you understand. Do you want to know if it's a perfect day for a stroll or visit to the beach? You don't have to open a weather app on your phone because you can predict it oh, yourself. I don't know that. Or any beverage. How? Shake any drink and pour it into a glass. If the bubbles spread to the sides, the weather will be good for the next 12 hours. Oh, well, I haven't tried this trick, guys. Stormy weather is coming in 12 hours. Whoa! This happens due to the effect of atmospheric pressure on air bubbles. High pressure... So, guys, the scientists really do this experimentation, guys. If they don't know this, how they will know this fact? So, if we haven't tried this one, let's try this. And maybe it's true, right? So, let's continue. Means you can expect sunny weather. So you will know if it's sunny or the bubbles stay in their initial cloudy or stormy. There's going to be gloomy with a coffee. Number four, 
If you get a flat tire, okay. stuff it with grass. I don't know. If you suddenly get a flat tire in the middle of nowhere, make small holes in the sides of the tire and stuff it with grass or thatch. This task is so easy grass to can help. With the help of some tools. It may also take a while to do this depending on how much hmm. air the tire has lost. Interesting. But able to get to the nearest gas station. Of course, after you get to a service station, you'll have to You're lucky if not away. if you have a you can see some uh, gasoline station nearby. Number five, stay focused during a plane's takeoff and landing. Guys, let me remind you, if you are flying in a plane, please, guys, follow the rules and regulations of the aircraft, guys. So if you're taking off or landing off, always don't use your cell phone and sit down properly, guys, with a seat belt, guys. This can help you to risk any danger situation. Hmm, it's a good fact. Stay attentive during the first three minutes of takeoff and the last three minutes of landing. Don't get distracted. According to statistics, 61% of all accidents in the air occur in these time periods. That's why your readiness to act that's in true, that's is true. to be the key to your survival. It's only for a few minutes, so bear with it. Number six, put out a fire with baking soda. This is very interesting, guy. I haven't tried this one. So if there's a fire, small fire in your house, you can, instead of using water in it, you can try baking soda. So I don't know the properties of the baking soda that can help to listen the fire. So let's check the video, guys. If your kitchen stove or the oil in your frying pan catches fire, do not try yeah. to wash them with water. Why? Water repels grease and oil, and the fire can spread okay. and splatter it with water. Instead, pour a Baking box of soda. soda on Very the helpful. Area. When interacting with an open fire, carbon dioxide will start to be produced, and the fire will be put out. I only knew that baking soda can make this slim. So it it's a very there's a beneficial benefits of drinking baking soda, guys. But I don't know as well that you can use it to put up a fire like this. Oh my goodness! Only good for extinguishing small fires because it requires a large amount of baking soda. Call 911 immediately after doing this to ensure your safety. Number seven: How to quickly calm down when panicking. Saying "Don't panic" to yourself or definitely else is the worst advice ever. So, what should you do instead? Panic is one of the main factors that decreases your chances of survival in a dangerous situation. Therefore, especially when there's a fire, earthquake, please don't panic, guys. Always have a presence of mind. Because if you panic right away, your mind loses and cannot concentrate on certain things. So, please check these uh, reminders to all of us so that it will remind us and it will give us some little tips in case of emergency follow simple actions that will help stabilize yourself ground yourself Maybe you have to count numbers that's what they says feet or count trees or any other objects you see these actions will help you get back into the here and now breathe slowly inhale and exhale yeah that's the main importance concentrate on a long exhale say everything you are feeling aloud for example I don't know what to do my hands and knees are trembling my heart is beating so you have to talk to yourself so you have a presence of mind to rescue yourself number eight number eight use your phone as a reflector when you it makes sense dark. use the flashlight your cell phone or camera as a light reflector when crossing a poorly lit road in the dark it will help drivers see you on the road and react well sometimes if I am in the road I also do this trick guys I also do the camera or the flashlight of my phone so that it can uh, attract the attentions of uh, taxi drivers or the vehicle that you want to ride. So it's also a good way to, you know, attract some attentions. I'm running or crossing cautiously. Pull out your phone, unlock it, and make sure the bright screen is pointed at any oncoming vehicles to signal the drivers. Smell camphor. Number nine, smell camphor to remove mm. signs of tunnel vision. I cannot relate this one because I'm not a driver. Driving for more than six hours, you can get tunnel vision while on the road. 
This is when your attention is focused on the road and objects located right in front of the car. At the same time, you stop noticing. Mm, see, camp working helps, guys. So remember this one. Remove eye tension. Take a fabric pouch containing powdered camphor crystals or a mm -hmm. bottle of camphor oil with you. When you feel tired, bring the pouch or bottle close to your nose and take a deep breath. You will feel better and become more attentive. However, use this in moderation. Use in moderation. Like this, because its smell is somewhat addictive. Number ten. Number ten. Start blowing or rubbing your nose really? to attract a predator. If you are being threatened, act like a hysterical victim. Cry, sniff, blow, or wipe your nose, even on your sleeve. You can also think it's weird, less but is it true? Actions. It's likely that the criminal will look away, and this will give you a chance to run away. By the way, police officers use this trick when they want to check if someone is stalking them. If you start blowing your nose, the person chasing okay. you will look aside. To be sure, repeat this action after a couple of minutes. This will not only distract them, but also draw attention to you. Okay, so, that's the reason right. why. And the last... Number 11. Make water safe after a natural disaster by mm. adding drops of bleach. This tip is from the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Water may be unsafe okay. to use after a natural disaster like a hurricane, blizzard, or earthquake. Purify your tap water with bleach while you wait for the local... I don't know that now bleach, you can drink the bleach with this one. I don't know that. Is it safe, guys? Let me know, guys. Water is safe to use. For clear tap water, add one eighth of a so, teaspoon or eight drops bleach. of unscented liquid bleach to one gallon or 16 cups of water. Mix thoroughly and wait 30 minutes or an oh. hour to be sure before drinking it. If the tap water has a cloudy appearance, you I don't know that. Spoon. I don't know either if it's safe, guys. But the scientists, they do it. Extreme yeah. caution. Thank you so much for this wonderful tip bright side and i hope that this tip guys can help you in case of the real emergency guys this is only 11 tips that will can help you can give some attention or attract some attentions to the public if you are really in the real situation guys i'm not saying that this is true but you can use these tricks as well so thank you so much I hope that this uh, information will give you a little bit of tips on how to give you a survival tips in case of emergency. And if you haven't watched this video, please watch and subscribe to my channel. And hello to my elite member, Vicoy Vlad. Thank you for being an elite member of my growing community. And to all the dreamers, please watch this video. And I love you guys. Mama, bye-bye.